Well guys, welcome to the next episode. In this episode, we're going to be traveling to North New Mexico. Sarah just sent me a text message and we had some damage to the Forerunner. So I'm just waiting for her to get back to show you what happened. Stick around. Roll the intro. Well, here she comes now. I'll just show you what happened. What happened? Oh. <laughs> I took the car for a car wash and it ripped the snorkel off. How did it do that? We've been through that thing so many times. <sighs> Well, you know what they say about hindsight? It's 2020. Probably shouldn't run the Forerunner through the car wash, but we've been so busy, thought, you know, let's just knock this out real quick. And I guess the fiberglass was already getting a bit brittle. And if you look at it, it's very, very thin to start with. So I, I guess it just got hit just the wrong way. We've been through that car wash before with no problems. So I'm just gonna try and patch this thing back together with some Gorilla Tape just to get us through the weekend. And then there's a lot of uh, replacement heads that I found on Amazon, so we'll get one of those coming as well. Fiberglass is probably not a very good option for snorkels, but again, it was all we had at the time. So, lesson learned, maybe we'll upgrade. Anybody want to trade vendors? Silver line into the story. If you thought that I would turn and run, then y'all don't know me. May my fears rest in peace, cause that's a old me. Got this taste on my tongue, I crave the glory. Good morning, guys. We are on an adventure. <laughs> We are headed to northern New Mexico oh, today, Look at that rain. and we've got a lot of rain. There's some storms rolling in between here and there, so it's going to be an interesting drive. Okay. <sighs> Feels but good. I will say, this is my favorite part of the day. Is it? Yes. It's mine too. We're all packed up, ready to go, and you don't know what the day's going to hold for you. All right. Well, let's get on the road and head north. struggle is real i say the struggle reveals how you deal with the monster that's inside you i don't buy into the luck i put my faith in my trust in my team everything that we done been through I, gasoline in my veins be the fuel through my pain oh I, as we rise rise from the flames heart of a lion never say never cut like a diamond shine She remembers on my video where I whistled through my nose. <laughs> and she said she whistled through her too. nose too. Hi. Well, you guys getting 
So I say, do you want to cut me out all the way? You want to talk too? What are we going to talk about? Well, I was just going to say, we had a good reminder just a second ago um, to watch your vehicle while you're fueling up. You know, a lot of times you throw it in, hope that the auto shut off is going to kill it. Yeah. Go inside, get a snack, go to the restroom, come back out, and it's done. Mm -hmm. Well, I happened to be standing beside the Forerunner and I heard splashing. I turned around and there's fuel gushing out of the Forerunner. I smell it. It, it went Did everywhere. You step in it? Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. So. No shoes up in the tent tonight. No. Anyhow, just a good reminder don't trust safety devices. Mechanical You things. are your best safety device. Safety is up to you. We say that all the time. It's true. We do. So, all right. We have met up with our friends. Whoop. We are cruising Red River slowly. They're trying to find some rain jackets because they forgot some. They forgot some. So we're going to go find the trailhead on 597, headed towards Greeny Peak, and go find us a place to camp. You got rolled on the window, babe. Smells good. Caroline is in heaven. I'm about to get I'm a headache. a bit of a headache myself. <laughs> What are you doing? Sitting in the car. You want to get out and film some? Nope. Why not? I did my share of rain in uh, Alaska. Mama done. Mama done? Mama done. All right. This is the air down scene. <laughs> to get the sound effect. Welcome to Rare River, New Mexico. The town of Rare River sprang into life in the late 1800s for the very same reason that many mountain communities in the Southwest came into existence. Gold, silver, and copper were found in the surrounding hills. While many of these communities were abandoned at the end of the mining efforts in the 1930s, Red River found another means of survival and treasure of its own kind in the tourism industry. Surrounded by the Sangre de Cristo Mountains of Carson National Forest, this remote town of 500 people now caters to the outdoor enthusiast and offers an escape from the summer heat while visitors enjoy all the mountain sports. With the rain coming down harder and harder with each mile we traveled, the mild trail slowly became more interesting, and it wasn't long before we ran into our first challenge of the trip, a steep wash that under normal circumstances would have been a cakewalk. But now, with the slick mud and roots, it was going to take some preparation to ensure our rig and trailer would make the climb. Because backing down this section would not be an option if the attempt failed. Whew, a little headed. This is why I don't live at this altitude. So guys, this is Caleb. Hi guys. You've seen him before. I think it was like episode 13 or something like that. Maybe not that. After walking the wash and considering our options, we determined that the most important part of this section would be to maintain momentum over the exposed, slick roots. So our max tracks were called into service to help our odds of success. This was also an opportunity to finally use our ARB front locker along with the factory rear e-locker to keep Silver on track and moving in the right direction. There would be no electronic helpers like A-Track, Terrain Select, or Crawl Control activated. Just a steady throttle, 48 gearing, and our trusty 4.0. That was fun. That was fun. First time actually needing the front locker. 
and what a mountain goat! <laughs> See ya! Probably just the rear, I don't think I need the front. Alright, so that just made it look too easy. This is a lot steeper than you think. Video never does it justice, but hey. And while the single rigs made short work of the incline, our setup weighs in at nearly five tons while towing a fully loaded 3,000 pound turtleback expedition in its 48 gallons of onboard water. All in all, I was proud of our testy steed Silver after testing her mountain goat mode. It definitely added to our confidence in her already impressive abilities. In case you're not aware, it is an overlander's obligation to film every water crossing, no matter how insignificant it might be. It's just what we do. All right, this is a good one. Well, 
We went from sunshine to nasty, muddy rain. Yeah, 90 degrees to 50 is probably 42 or so now. So, it is time for the question of the night. The same question we ask every night. Hey, Mama, what's for dinner? We're having pork chops, rice, and zucchini and squash. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm starving now. Is that better? Oh, yeah, much better. If you're ever passing through New Mexico, got to try some salsitas. I want to make sure I was saying it right. Because sometimes I say something some way a long time and it takes years and then I put it on YouTube and people are like, that's not how you say that. Salsitas. If it's wrong, let me know. They're all like poofy. What's our altitude right now? Uh, 11 and a half. 11,500 feet. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that loaded the flavor. Mmm. Mm. Didn't miss from that. What we got going over here? We got a little mix of mushrooms and some ground beef and some rice and some tomatoes and some chilies and black beans. Oh man. This is yeah. Clarissa by the way. Hi. <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens with this. Oh, mushrooms, you can't go mm, wrong with mushrooms. No, for the best. We can debate that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not a mushroom man? I'm not a mushroom man. Oh. That should be small, cut that way oh, okay. down. You haven't had our stuffed mushrooms yet then. No. It's converted people. That, that sounds convincing. It, it actually has converted a few people, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
After a good night of sweet dreams, I decided to get back on the trail of my friends Jojo and Eternity. But first things first, breakfast and radio check. Do copy, over. So you want to know just how I feel about you. I vote we come and camp right there. Or you could drop a pin on that. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> a chipmunk! Look at the little tootie patootie. We're at 10,400 feet and climbing, and I'm a wee bit out of shape. You want me to stop recording this one? Yeah. So should I tell a funny story on Kev? So, you probably don't pay attention, or that close attention, to what knife I use when I'm chopping from our northern trip. Don't worry guys, story's not over. We'll be back next week. Make sure to check us out on patreon.com for lots of extra videos. Peace out dudes.